That was Prime Minister Justin Trudeau fielding questions about alleged Chinese election interference in the 2021 federal election. The allegations were first reported by the Globe and Mail. CSIS documents show the Chinese worked to defeat conservative politicians China viewed as critical of that country, alleging that Chinese diplomats even went as far as making undeclared donations to candidates seen as favorable to China. The Prime Minister insists the interference did not impact the results of the election, but a House committee already studying foreign election interference unanimously voted to expand the scope of that study to include the 2021 election. The committee was already in the process of investigating allegations of Chinese interference in the 2019 federal election. One of the conservative politicians reportedly targeted in 2021 by these efforts is Kenny Chu. Mr. Chu lost in that federal election in the B.C. riding of Stevenson, Richmond East. He is with us live now. Hi, Mr. Chu. Good to have you on the program. Thank you for making the time. Thank you for having me, Dr. Uh, tell me a little bit about your experience and uh, in 2021 and how you believe you were targeted by China. Well, it's a very subtle and yet um, very complex uh, regime and, and system that is in play. Uh, it involves a multidimensional uh, campaign, uh, disinformation and misinformation spreading uh, in terms of uh, complete falsified information. For example, I have paid a uh, private member bill to establish a foreign interference registry act. And that was uh, portrayed as anti-Chinese, that I am a racist, that I'm a traitor. And articles were written and being circulated among the constituents and through uh, Chinese only uh, social media websites such as WeChat, and uh, circulated through WhatsApp uh, groups, et cetera, et cetera. It is very difficult to, to detect and also very difficult to counter. Talk a little bit, if you could, about the difficulty in countering it. And how early did you know in that campaign or did you feel that you were being targeted? Well, I've been uh, in the short uh, year and 10 months uh, of tenure as a member of parliament. I've been in touch with uh, CSIS initially uh, was approached by them because um, I, I guess they are concerned. Uh, CSIS never explained to me why they're interested to talk to, talk to me and also to solicit and, and collect information from me. But they did talk to me and approach me. And during the election, I also uh, talked to them and, and pass over information that I, uh, my campaign staff and my volunteers have uh, reported to me. And, and so it is through this network of this information and also attack on uh, then my leader, uh, Aaron O'Toole, uh, through this information on his part, for example, that he intends to ban WeChat altogether, a social media platform that is also being used to conduct uh, business and uh, connections and messaging with uh, families over uh, in China, et cetera, et cetera. These are the, the steps that they took to undermine uh, conservative MPs now that we know. You mentioned that CSIS had reached out to you. What What is the earliest point at which you conveyed to them your worries about being targeted? Uh, first of all, it, it was them who took the initiative to, uh, okay. to approach. And it was 2020 during uh, the pandemic. And I was actually really surprised that they, they would do that. Um, having said that, I um, I was not surprised that uh, that uh, the you know I'll be I'll be an interest uh, character of interest for the Chinese Communists because I have been very critical of their work in Canada um, you know that's why that's also one of the reasons why I think we need to protect our our country uh, with the uh, interference registry. I know you have been uh, saying that and, and certainly making that um, proposal for, for a time now. The, the p level of public consciousness since the Globe and Mail's reporting late last week seems to have increased about uh, the probability the, of this happening, the nature of the allegations. Do you think that will, um, I, I guess for lack of a better term, force the federal government's hand to do more on the issue? My, my observation, Fashi, has been that the, the governing um, party, the, the government, doesn't seem to have the urgency uh, and understanding how um, 
pressing the matter is, uh, the incentive to actually do it. They, they've been, quote unquote, dragging their feet. Uh, you know, every time when, when either uh, there, there are police stations being found uh, reported in Canada, they do uh, a talking point. And then when, when there's uh, a report about 11 candidates in 2019 potentially being compromised, uh, they, they say they're, they're considering conducting a study uh, to do for an in, uh, inference. When there are balloons uh, going over our heads, they will send out another talking point. This government doesn't seem to be willing to take any substantial, solid action. Um, Senator Leo Hosakos uh, on, the, in, on the Senate floor has already tabled um, the bill that I, I initially proposed. Uh, if the government is interested, all they have to do is just take that seriously, uh, make it go through the, the necessary steps, amend it if necessary, and then pass it as soon as possible. The United States already long have it. The Australians in 2015 already have it. And why does Canada not having it and making ourselves a weakest link in the uh, alliance, in, the, in, in our allies chain? And just for everyone watching, what you're referring to is the uh, the idea of a foreign agents registry, um, sort of cataloging uh, those who would be in Canada, for, for example, doing what was alleged through those CSIS documents in the Globe. Uh, just before I let you go, Mr. Chu, uh, the, the you know to be fair, the Prime Minister hasn't ruled that out in the in when asked about it in the past few days, based on on the initial reporting. Um, he does, however, insist that. The election outcome, overall outcome, was not impacted, and and he says that he has information to that effect. Um, is 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 that a fair point as well? I, I understand. Obviously, you lost, and there was an impact on you. But his point is, he doesn't have any information to show that the outcome of the election was actually determined by this interference. Well, I've been telling everybody who is willing to less, uh, listen that uh, that this is a factor of our election uh, winning or losing, depending on which uh, position you're observing. But my, my point is, I don't know where uh, the uh, information Prime Minister has received from and based on what, uh, even if it is weighing just, you know, 10 votes, you know, uh, impacting and manipulating with this information of Canadians, would that be okay? If it is 100, if it is 1,000. So it, it's important that we put in place the, the uh, legislation, legislation that prevents this from happening again. And, uh, you know, if the government is actually doing something substantial, actually doing the work, uh, I suppose the um, this national security apparatus would not be as concerning, uh, would not be as worrying, uh, in, you know, so much so that they, they would actually step up to be a whistleblower. Okay, Mr. Chu, I'm going to leave it there. I appreciate your time this evening. Thank you. Thank you.